What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this absolutely cool and very compact, lightweight Puma travel trailer. This is the type of travel trailer that, you know, I would personally like if we're just gonna take it out for the day to the beach, or if we're gonna go to an area and we just wanna have a really great place that's gonna give us, you know, water, it's gonna give us a bathroom, a sink, you know, the ability to cook, while at the same time some protection from the sun and air conditioning if we're looking for that. A nice reprieve if you've, you know, outside playing around in the sand and you want to get in and kind of enjoy something that's a little bit more uh, climate controlled. Anyways, we're going to take a look at this super cool trailer, see what it's all about. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this extremely huge travel trailer. It's going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,910 pounds, so it's very lightweight. Dry weight on this unit is going to be, and where are they putting it on this one? Uh, 2,712 pounds, a little over 18 feet long, and it's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,169 pounds. So the dry weight of 2,712 pounds, let's say you load it up with 500 pounds worth of stuff, you're just gonna be you know, around 3,300 pounds. This is easily towable by a lot of vehicles. Um, I'm not gonna specifically go through them all, but there's a lot of midsize SUVs, there's a lot of smaller pickup trucks, uh, you just want to make sure that you do have the right towing package. There's a lot of people that think they have a vehicle that's capable of towing, then they realize it doesn't have the towing package, so its towing capabilities are like significantly lower than they thought. So you definitely want to make sure, even if you have a vehicle capable of towing, that you have the right towing capacity. Because this is one of those areas you can get in trouble if your vehicle is a little too small, but you don't realize it. That said, let's take a look inside of this really cool Palomino Puma ultralight travel trailer. Single axle as stick and tin construction, which basically steel frame, wooden interior walls with aluminum siding on them. This is a 12 FBX. All right, stepping up the Moride step above steps. This is kind of cool. You know what I like about it is they've put a lot of windows in. The only window I think that's lacking is maybe one on the wall over here. But just check this thing out. Super compact. It still gives you pretty much everything you're looking for. What is kind of cool about it is that this floor plan is very similar to like the black series that i reviewed if you think about it you have your booth style dinette right here with a window above it you have your whole kitchen area right here with a window you have your microwave two burner cooktop fair amount of storage throughout it the big thing here is this is going to cost like pennies compared to a black series storage up here stereo system again this is the perfect floor plan i believe for people who even if you want to go out on a longer trip as long as you understand your storage capabilities your water tank holdings the, the ability to, for you to actually sustain yourself out there but almost any trailer kind of has those limitations the key with this one is is this is not an off-grid you know overland trailer you don't want to take this out to you know moab and start rock crawling with it that's where those other you know extreme rvs are specifically designed for this right here is great for those folks who want something that can get the family out of the house enjoying the beach enjoying the lake enjoying you know scenic areas in a climate controlled environment um, with a level of comfort that you're just not going to get with really anything else with a level of comfort that you only get from an rv so again, you have a booth style dinette here. This can drop down and turn into a, another bed if you have the you know kiddos along with you. You have your single basin sink here. And this, it's a plastic sink, but it looks like it's porcelain. You have your faucet here. Price on this unit. Uh, MSRP is $31,845. Sale price, $17,934. And there's a lot of cool upgrades you could do to this to make it just amazing. You have your window here. It would have been cool to put another window right here, just being honest. Um, you have this front windshield, which does kind of make up for it, because typically on a unit like this, you're not going to have a front windshield. So you have this beautiful front windshield. Imagine if you, uh, you open up the window and you just get all that cross ventilation coming through here. Nice cabinetry up here. Got a spot for your TV. Cable connections, satellite connections as well. Another large window. This is a good size window. More storage above. Actually has some pretty nice valances considering you know the, the price point of this unit. Then you have another window here, right, that's right near the sink. Nice backsplash in this area. 
Again, more cabinetry. Here's all your tank monitoring controls. You got your silverware drawer here, as well as another drawer below it. So it's nice that they've even put drawers in this unit, because a lot of times you don't get that. Vent hood above here. 12 volt, good size refrigerator. Much larger than you would typically see in a unit like this. Your fuses and breakers are down there. Here is the bathroom. So you have a spot for your toilet paper. This has a standard plastic toilet, but it is foot flush. You have your shower right here. And it actually has a shower surround. So a lot of these lower cost units don't come with shower surround. So it's really nice to see that this one comes equipped with one. Very, very nice. This is a cool floor plan. I like it. And I'm sure you're gonna have storage under the seats, which you do. So you got storage under there on both of them. And again, this can turn into another sleeping area. So if it's like, you know, a couple with a child, they can easily put their child here and they can sleep there. Very cool. And over here, we got some more storage, a lot of storage actually. This unit has so much more utilized storage space than I've really ever seen on this size of travel trailer. They've done a great job. Storage under the seats, storage there, storage there, storage there, storage there, storage here, here, even there. You got more storage in here as well. This is really nice. Anyways, let's step outside of this unit and see what it's all about. Okay, starting from the front of this unit, working our way back, you actually get a power front tongue jack on this unit. You also have a spot for a single 20 pound propane can, spot for a couple of batteries down there. You have a power disconnect over there as well if you're gonna be keeping it in storage and you don't wanna have a, a parasitic draw off of the battery. You got some pass through storage right here. Not pass through, but it's actually a really good amount of storage. Again, even outside storage on this unit is pretty dang impressive. You got four scissor jacks on the corners for stabilization. Power outlet right here. Want to connect something to watch TV, want to charge your phones, things like that. It has, what are these? These are Castle Rock tires. This has traditional leaf sprung suspension. Um, this is one of those areas that you could easily put a little bit of money into it just cosmetically and put like a, a higher end tire with a really nice aluminum wheel and it would look absolutely great. Color scheme looks really nice. You got some outside speakers as well. More ride step above steps, four inch tubular bumper so you can throw your sewer hose in there. All LED lighting. It is wired for a Furan wireless backup camera. Sewer connections on this side, outside of your 30 amp connection, outside of your furnace, outside shower this is your fresh water connection for the uh, for city water, outside of your water heater. What do you guys think? I really, really like this unit. I honestly think that this is a great, great practical unit for a lot of folks who just want to get out there camping, especially if you want to go on day trips. You know, when you live out here where we live, we're right next to the coast. We can literally go out for the day. We can show up at 10 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday, stay all day long and leave. And then with something like this, you don't have to worry about a bathroom. You don't have to worry about overheating. You don't have to worry about, you know, what you're going to cook with. You just hitch it up to just about any vehicle with the appropriate tow numbers and you can take it and go and really, really enjoy a great comfortable like cabin next to the ocean, which I think is super cool or next to the bay, I guess in our case. Anyways, guys, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.